I like artwork that looks at private moments. You get a sense of what someone might really be like when no one's looking at them. It's putting into uh, visuals something that's maybe hard to talk about. And I think there's a sense of relatability in that. I'm Jesse Lane. I'm a colored pencil artist, and I've been working in colored pencil for almost 14 years now. I love using colored pencil because it's a very precise medium. It's also a very slow medium because you're always working with a pencil point. And because of that, it's kind of like a, there's a speed limit to it. But what that makes you do is it makes you savor every little spot of a piece. Everything in a colored pencil piece, I think, is more intentional because the artist's mind has to focus exactly on that pencil point. Colored pencil is a very approachable medium, and I think that's part of what drew me to it. A kid can, you know, basically go get a sheet of printer paper and some colored pencils, and they can just begin with that, you know, so that's what I did. When I began drawing as a 15 year old, I didn't do it with the goal of becoming a professional artist or being in a gallery or even majoring in it in college. I didn't make it that big. It was just, you know, I'm, I'm drawing today and I'll probably draw tomorrow. And I just want to kind of see where this goes. I think more than the art, it made me feel determination, it made me feel passion, it made me feel drive. And I think for me at 15 years old, being a kid with dyslexia, that was the thing that grabbed me. I began with this sense of insecurity just from a young age. I think I did art to kind of compensate for that. It's like, I can't read very well. I still haven't even read a book <laughs> in my life, but um, I can draw. I wasn't great when I started, but at the same time, I felt like I was getting better. And so for me, that was kind of a sign of hope that, you know, I've, I've managed to accomplish something. I, I like challenge and I like proving myself with my art. Colored pencil is a kind of underestimated medium. People think it's scribbles of color made by children. and. It's not just me, but a lot of colored pencil artists around the world are making stuff that's photographic and proving what colored pencil can do. And so people underestimate colored pencil and look down on it kind of the way I used to underestimate and look down on myself. And so I think I've kind of proven myself to myself and maybe the people around me but I'm trying to kind of like now take that to another level where I help prove colored pencil to the world. The world makes people insecure and it's easy to just be like, oh, I'm no good. But you always kind of have to, at some point you have to realize my work is enough. Whether that's day one and I'm starting in a sketchbook and I am the worst in whatever part of art group I'm in, or you just win a contest, like through all those things, you have to remember my work is enough. Like I am enough. <laughs>